so what happens to all this stuff that not even thrift stores can sell? It ends up at a place called the outlet bins. But sometimes you can find treasure in that trash. Or a diamond amongst the filth. Each episode, we dive into the bins to find the strange, the crazy, or the interesting in an attempt to discover if it was truly worthy of being rescued from the bins. Hello and welcome to Binsworthy. I'm Todd. This is Brian the Unipiper and Mark Middleton. Uh, we just got back from the bins. Uh, what did you find for us, Mark? I found Play TV's Baseball 3. And so this was uh, a video game. We'd never seen it before. Or uh, It's got some uh, controls here and here. And so I thought maybe you would have a catcher and a pitcher and, uh, and you'd be able to play. So uh, we plugged it in and turned it on. Is it supposed to have a bat? Uh, turns out, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, it's got a ball, and it's missing the bat. But there is actually a sensor in the ball and a, sen and a wireless bat, and you play baseball against each other uh, by throwing the ball and swinging the bat. Uh, but the game starts by swinging the bat, <laughs> and we don't have a bat. We, oh, okay. Can you this, plug the uh, ball into the bat hole? <laughs> it doesn't have a bat hole. Bat no, hole. There's only no bat, bat hole, hole, Batman. There's no bat hole. S O. Huh. So this is baseball three. Uh, that means there were two there were two worse two worse versions. <laughs> So, <laughs> did you turn the sound on? Does the music go? Was it just during the startup? Uh, no, the there's music. music. Goes? Okay, there's so. music. Oh, we could turn it up. Which is the music you're hearing right now. <laughs> I can hear it in my head, Mark, and it is glorious. Three. <laughs> <gasps> what? Swing it Oh my miss. gosh, you figured it out. I figured it out. You have to use all three fingers. Well, this oh, great. I bet. I bet. I bet different combinations of fingers oh, does different do kinds different of things. Oh. 82 yeah. miles an hour slider. slider. So do you But we're only going to go play a half an inning because um, pretty soon we're going to be at yeah. that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then we can't do anything. What a year did this come out? Uh, 2004. It says Ooh. on the back of it. Okay, I was gonna say the graphics aren't so terrible, but 2004 is pretty bad for what looks like a. No, it's like it's like Donkey Kong Country level graphics. <laughs> is it fun? No. Would you like to try? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Todd! Whoa, Todd! Uh -oh. Home, Home run. run! That means I'm a terrible pitcher. Though. It does. Swing oh, bat to start. start. So where would the bat connect to? It's not. I, it's, I wireless. Think it's wireless. Oh. So I think that's the like the RF, oh. whatever responder. Uh, this is for sale on Amazon for about eighty dollars, but seventy nine dollars. Uh, and the review was one star, terrible. <laughs> and uh, it went in to discuss how terrible the graphics, the gameplay, the stability of the program. Uh, it happened on Christmas. He gave it to his son. Uh, it basically uh, was a terrible gift all the way around. It ruined, and ruined Christmas. Christmas. It actually ruined yeah. Christmas. So uh, this is definitely a kill. And, and <laughs> there's no use. We didn't even ask if we want to keep this? or Craigslist. I can Unless only... somebody found the bat and is looking for the other pieces. I can only think of one is. way to kill this. With a baseball with a bat. <laughs> with a bat. If only Absolutely. we had one. Well, my pick this week, uh, Twilight. Twilight, seen it. And let's face it, I am hotter than you. Um, Tyler Lautner is hot with uh, a shirt on. 
Oh, is he the... He's the one that looks like an alpaca? Yeah, a llama, yes. Uh, it was filmed partially in Kalama. Oh, that's right. And in Fort... I have been to uh, Forks, Washington. You walk into the grocery... There's a little small town. You walk into the grocery store, and there's, like, one whole corner that is just... Twilight shirts, bumper stickers, right? Like all of this stuff uh, in the corner of this grocery store, and there's Twilight signs all over the streets and stuff like that. No. I just love uh, you're driving on Interstate on I-5 past Kalama, and, and then on one of the buildings in town that you can see from the Interstate, they have a giant banner, banner Kalama, a Twilight <laughs> filming location. And it gave us Fifty Shades of Grey because Fifty Shades of Grey is fan fiction of Twilight, so it's. And Twilight being fan fiction of Harry Potter. Which now the story is it came to her in a dream. She woke up one day and she had the story written in her dream or whatever. I heard that she uh, had to dig up some gold plates in her backyard. <laughs> and on it was written. Put a Urim and a Thummim and on and was able to decipher uh, those golden plates. So who has the place seen it? I do, I do. I'm Dr. Cullen. You can call me Carlisle. Are you ready to play? So I have to roll these two dice. What? <laughs> have I'll either of you ever played a seen it game before? No. I think when it lands on uh, the silver one, maybe that is a play the DVD. Brian, the first question is for you. Ooh, you have a chance of, of getting this one. Which one of Bella's legs gets broken? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say left. Her right. 50 50 Twilight luck. Mark. What does Bell. Wait, no, no, no. What does James break in an attempt to elicit a response from Bella? Bella's right leg. <gasps> You're right! Her <laughs> leg! Oh my gosh! <laughs> See? You're a secret Twihard. <laughs> Let's face it, I am hotter than you. <laughs> uh, should we try an interactive question? Yes. yes. <laughs> now, was that question on the same card? No. <laughs> it, that, I did see randomly. Are you, I pulled, are you serious that that was actually That was the, actually the thing. I pulled the top one, and then I pulled... <laughs> we could play it back. Mark. What does... <laughs> I pulled it randomly out of the middle. That's, That's not pretty right. crazy. So, unfortunately, when we got this uh, game, I did not check to see that everything was there, and it did not actually come with the <laughs> DVD. Bins were they? Of uh, yeah. So beware when you're at the bins to go through the box to make sure that everything is there. But I did pull up. Uh, somebody, of course, has posted the whole thing on YouTube. So I'm gonna select a question here randomly uh, from round one. Answer the question that follows this clip. This one's for you. This one's for me. You stopped the van. You pushed it away with your hand. Well, nobody's gonna believe you. So. Later in the movie, how does Edward explain his ability to stop the van? Uh-oh, there's time. Uh... Oh, that was fast. It was... Answer the following... <laughs> Oh, wow. and my computer died. Twilight just <laughs> killed my computer. It went completely out. All right, for the win, the first person to answer... We are all losing. <laughs> what type of vehicle is Tyler driving? A van. A minivan! <laughs> Mark wins Twilight! I am hotter than you. Well, uh, should we keep this? Should we give it away? Or should we Craigslist it? Or should we kill it? I think we have to kill it. I think we have to kill it. It was kill incomplete it. and also... Terrible. <laughs> terrible. So, this game just brought humiliation and a dead battery in my computer, so... What did you find at the bins, Brian? <laughs> Save us. Save us from what we've picked. I found a movie. Should we watch it? 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go now! I found street smart fighting and defense secrets of modern professional warriors. Hooray! What we're going to do with this program is give you a fighting chance of surviving a violent confrontation. Uh, Look at that program. mustache. Uh, he looks like Justin Long. Now, when we talk about a violent do you know Justin Long is from, uh, from Dodgeball? Part, the yes. Yes. Term that you want to start putting into your head, you have to have a, a survivor's instinct. You know, whatever the outcome is, you are going to survive this confrontation. The second part. Does he have a mullet and an amazing mustache? <laughs> I think they connect. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> All right, Brian, we just finished watching Modern Professional Warrior. Can you tell us a little bit about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us how long it was? That was an hour and 17 minutes of. Play fighting? Was it even play? That no, was one of the most violent instructional videos I've ever seen. You push in and go. Strike. The thumbs are going into the eyes. Hammer fist into the groin. Rotate it up. Break the wrist. That's uh. Well. Okay. You can use this hand. If they need some more encouragement, just push a little harder. They'll stay there. They'll stay there no matter what. Kind of a little short, punky. Take your little glasses off. The the spit take in the face. <laughs> that is the first spit take I've ever seen in an instructional video outside of how to do spit takes. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> well, tell us about our cast of characters. Um... They were each wearing a different color shirt so we could keep them straight. Yes. Because their facial hair was not clue enough. <laughs> we're the only ones keeping them straight. <laughs> let's, let's, let's say it like it is. Yes, there was uh, <laughs> undertones. For you to justify my love. There was that. a lot of ass grabbing. They'll stay there. They'll stay there no matter what. It wasn't a proper technique unless there was some sort of grab to the crotch involved. <laughs> yeah. Mostly, this video is to teach you self-defense, how to fight, how to ward off people sneaking up on you, and do you feel like you learned anything? I, I no. I was too distracted about what they were doing with their bodies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Probably not be a good hand to hand combat warrior. The thumbs are going into the eyes. <laughs> so let's, okay, let's figure out what this video. <laughs> let's, like, we've all learned we... something today. <laughs> I cannot pull off a mustache like that, and Mark will never be a hand to hand combat warrior. So, what they were trying to teach, like, this video was quick and dirty self-defense, you know, in the situation when you're at the bar and you just have to defend yourself. Or you just want to attack another guy. It's not about looking pretty, you just want to win. Yeah. It's the quickest way to win if you're in a fight. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> fingers. <laughs> fingers, there's a lot of finger work. Finger wagging. This in the bar is what we call the... Did I stick the finger in your face? Let's talk about the acting. <laughs> Specifically, the victim's acting. The victim, red, red shirt too. Red shirt, mustache guy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it did seem like his demo reel. Like he was, he's working at it as he wants to be a stunt man. So he wants to show his full range of not just being able to do the moves, but to act against the moves to show real pain. And every time they would take a hit, they they would grunt and. <laughs> <laughs> this did have some great grunt work in it. Yeah. It was, it was very, just vocalizations. All right, so what do we want to do with this? Should, should we keep oh, it? Should we, we are keeping this one. <laughs> <laughs> and we are watching it again as soon as we are done recording this. This is the new gold standard of quality video entertainment from the bins. Even a bad week of the bins is a good week of the bins. Thank you for joining us again at the bins. Uh, you can find us. Where can you find us? Can you find us anywhere? 
Probably Facebook. The bins. The bins. You can find <laughs> us find at us the, in bins. the bins. <laughs> Uh, but stay tuned. We will be back again for another episode, and perhaps we'll find something more that will be Ben's worthy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs>